Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Mike and this is Digital Life and my goal on this channel is to help you find the right phone, case, and face to fit your life and style. There's two new cases that Autobox added to their lineup. So let's take a look to see what those cases are like and what Autobox has to offer. Let's get to that in this video coming up. And I wanna say a big thank you to Big Nicoli for asking this question here. Any chance of an Autobox Rundown Symmetry Commuter and Defender? So right now, you're gonna to wanna to run over to Amazon because these cases are on sale. And I wanna get this Defender out of the way first because this is my favorite. I love the feeling of this case. It's not the pro version, so it's not gonna be antimicrobial. The holster makes this case for me. I love this color. This is kinda of like a sea foam color right here. It looks really, really nice. You can see the colors of this plastic right here. And then the navy blue on this case as well. Super, super nice. And this will be drop protective. Guys, this is not waterproof. This is not a waterproof case at all. If water can get in, dust can get in. So you're gonna wanna take this case off on a regular basis so that way it doesn't scratch your phone on the inside right here. Just clean it out every once in a while. You should be good to go. Little tabs right here. So that way you can open this case. Autobox says you're supposed to put this part on first, but I always just lay it on here. It seems to work out pretty good for me. And the one thing with these is they haven't been screen protector friendly. The pro versions usually aren't screen protector friendly. I've always had pretty good luck with just the regular version. If you're buying the pro version, there's something that I read about antimicrobial coatings. The study said, yes, they do kill the microbes, but once the microbes die on the surface, the new microbes consume the old microbes that died, and through DNA, they learn how to combat the antimicrobial coating, and then thus you are making super microbes. The research didn't say that part. I added that part. And you have plenty of space between the camera and that case and of course you can have good drop protection this will give you some of the best drop protection yes it wirelessly charges as you can see right there somebody asked me before will this case allow your phone to charge on a stand-up charger and it most likely will not all right so you can see right here that it's actually starting to lift my screen protector at the bottom here and that's what i mean about these not being too screen protector friendly that's one thing that you have to deal with is screen protector installation you have to be correct like dead on with this installation in order to have these defender cases fit with your white stone am film which is what is on here right now i'll leave a card up above if you guys want to see a video on how i make that adjustment on a case like this if you want to use a uv glass for your phone this is actually a kickstand it swivels it's not only a holster so there you go you can go like that or you can turn it to the side you can put your fingers on it like this and then close this and it'll hold on to your fingers a little bit better. You've got a little flap right there. You have plenty of access to the ports and everything and these buttons are super clicky. It's on sale on Amazon, so go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Strata, next. This is one of their newer cases. All of these cases are on sale on Amazon and comment down below. Let me know if you guys have tried this case yet. So this is genuine leather. A little slot right there where you can just get your thumb underneath to open it up. And there is a magnetic closure, not opening. You can get it to open, but it will stay closed by itself. Autobox branding right there. Super nice leather feeling. And yes, it does smell like leather. It's not too much, but it is genuine leather. There's going to be two slots right here for you guys to be able to put cards into and a little area right here for you to push those up. It'll probably stay kind of open, I would think with two cards. This back spine right here will stretch out and after a while that most likely won't be a problem for you. First impressions, it's really good. It's got plenty of ridges on the inside there to offer good drop protection. So Otterbox is just getting better with these cases. This is just like a TPU feeling kind of material. The leather does wrap all the way around to the back. So let's go ahead and get the phone in here. The phone is nice and protected, super easy, one-handed operation. I did not think that I'd like the Strata that much. There's an opening right here so you can still talk through the case right here. It's not too thick. When you do this, when you close it, it closes itself. So it grabs on super tight. So if you want to keep that open, you can to protect that camera a little bit more. But now remember with these kind of cases, you have to hold them like this in order to take a picture. Normally you have to kind of hold this like this to be able to text 
one-handed. For this, it's not so bad because that kind of stays magnetically attached by itself. So it doesn't seem like it's as much in the way as other cases. And when you're texting, one positive thing about this, you can hold it like this and text at the same time and have more maneuverability and be able to let go of this even if you wanted to, but you have a two-handed ability to kind of control what you're doing around the phone. Actually, it helps you quite a bit on a phone like this. Yep, good to go with wireless charging. So far, the Strata is amazing. I say it's a go. Uh, you got a little bit of space between the camera and the case itself, so it will keep it off the table, but not so much. But what's nice is you can lay it face down. When normally when you put a phone in your pocket without a cover like this, you get it cleans your phone, right? It naturally cleans the surface of your screen. When you close it like this, you're going to be keeping your pocket from being able to clean. Uh, so you're going to have those same fingerprints that you had on your phone before you put it away. And this case does seem to be screen protector friendly. Uh, the buttons are nice and clicky. Ports are wide open. The mic is super accessible. No flap or anything on the bottom. All right, let's get to the other new one, the prefix. I was kind of looking forward to this one because it's known as like the ultra thin design. First impressions of this case, it is sturdy. I would say it reminds me of a UAG case. Super sturdy on the back. I like the sides. They are somewhat flexible. The inside, just a hard plastic. No flaps on the bottom. It says OtterBox branding right there on the side. Super screen protector friendly. I like how this thing feels on the phone. It looks nice. There's a little bit of space there from the back of the case to the camera. So you're not gonna get too much lay on table protection. This would be more of a kind of thin fit case. The sides are grippy. This back part doesn't even need to be grippy. The sides themselves are actually super nice and soft and I would use this case. Let's see if this will charge wirelessly through the case. Yes, it will. All right, prefix, you're good to go. All right, so for the ladies, I'm gonna be trying on this Symmetry case. I didn't actually know this case was going to be a sparkly case, but I kind of like it. Let's see what this is like. I have never had a sparkly case like this, but I'm thinking the phone's gonna look super nice through this case. But what's nice about these cases from OtterBox is you have a warranty. You let OtterBox know and they'll be sending you a brand new case. Like I said, it looks super sparkly. Actually looks really nice, right? You're gonna have some, some looks going on if you're walking down the street with this case. As always, it doesn't disappoint. You get nice grippy texture on the sides here because of the TPU sides. For some reason, they didn't put the smaller holes. They just put one big hole in the top, which is kind of interesting. Ports are wide open. And you do have some protection on the back there for lay on table protection. I think you'll be just fine. Plenty of lay on table protection for the front as well. This is actually better protection than I would say the prefix was. Let's see if it'll wirelessly charge through this case. And we're good to go with the sparkly symmetry. And these will yellow. As soon as this case yellows on you, just go ahead and turn it in. They'll send you a new case right away. You might have to pay shipping $10 for a brand new case. I think that's a good deal. Because we did the other symmetry, I might as well just go ahead and get the symmetry going. And I actually like this symmetry case a little bit better. I would go with this one over the other one, but I do like those sparkles. To be honest, if I'm gonna get that symmetry case, I think I would go with the sparkles. Those sparkles are nice. It's got somewhat of a slim profile. It does feel like the symmetry case. It's got the same kind of curves. Obviously, this texture is gonna be a little bit different, but there's rubber right there along the outside, around the, the edge right here, which kind of adds a little grip, a little more grip than what you would think. Although this back of this case is somewhat slick, a little bit slippery, it doesn't have that grip that you think it might. It helps to have the edges right here. And you have plenty of space between the back of the case because of the little surrounding around the, the camera. You might get a little bit of dust underneath there. It might rub on the surface of this. I think it actually looks really nice. And let's see if this will charge wirelessly. Yes, it will. Last one, the commuter. All right, so guys, we're gonna be doing a pocket test after I try this case on. So stick around if you wanna see that. This commuter right here, I always go back and forth between the commuter and the symmetry case. Which one would you guys choose and why? So for me, I think I would choose the symmetry, but I really like the commuter. I kept the commuter on for a while. This thing offers more than you would think. There's actually a two-part case here. So you can take this apart just like that if you would like. 
got a nice rubber finish on the inside, so you get plenty of protection. So I would say this is the Defender's little brother, but this flap opens from the top down instead of from the bottom up. As you can see, it is a little tough to get on the phone, but it will go on without taking that plastic off. Looking pretty nice with the AutoBox branding on the bottom and the nice grip here on the sides. And again, this is like this one of those cases where you would think that it doesn't offer enough protection, but this thing actually feels like it will be more drop protective than the symmetry. When it hits that ground, it just feels like because of the soft rubber on the inside of this case, just feels super nice. Nice and clicky buttons there. They come off the side of the case quite a bit, so you do definitely know where those things are. You do have somewhat of a lip there, and pretty much like the symmetry, you have the plastic resting right on the camera. And we do have wireless charging through the commuter case. All right, so here is the commuter case. So I'm gonna go through this pocket test really fast, just so you guys could get somewhat of a good idea what this thing will be like. All right, symmetry feels a little bit better in the pocket because it's not as thick, so it's not as noticeable, and the rounded edges are nice. So, and it's, it seems like it's easier to take in and out. So, so far, the symmetry is winning the pocket test. Here's the strata we're putting in the pocket right now. And let's see what this is gonna be all about. Yep, so this thing grips the pocket as it's going in and it kind of grips as it's being taken out, but it's leather, so it's obviously gonna get worn and be a little bit more slick after a while. Does feel a little bit bigger in the pocket, the Strata does here, but definitely pocketable, no problem at all. Here's the prefix, it's supposed to be the thin fit case. All right, so I still say the symmetry is winning the pocket test for me. This feels kind of a little bit more like the commuter, but it does have, it seems like the sharper edges around the side here. So that's why it doesn't feel as nice in the pocket, I would guess. Symmetry still wins. The prefix is, is about the same as the commuter case. All right, here is the sparkly symmetry, which I was surprised. I really like this case, guys. This case is uh, surprising me how much I like it. Yeah, I know it's kind of weird. I'm liking a sparkly case, but look from over there, you guys can see this case. You're going to draw some attention. If I can get this thing on the light, I would hold a little bit further down just so that way <laughs> when you're talking on the phone, you can show people more of your case. If you're concerned with pocket comfort, then the symmetry is the way to go. All right, so both symmetries definitely win the pocket test. There's just something about the Defender, guys. This, this case is so awesome. So anyway, you guys wouldn't think this would be pocket friendly, but it actually is. So it's not actually too bad. It feels obviously the bigger out of all of them, right? But it's pretty close to the same size as what the Strata kind of feels like in your pocket. So it's not too bad. It is grippy, so it's gonna wanna pull your pocket a little bit as you're pulling it out, but it's not too bad. You could put this holster on and still put it in your pocket. Obviously, it's gonna be a little bit bigger, but it's not really much different than putting a pop socket on. You put it on your belt, no problem. And you could ratchet around like that, or you can put it in here like this, just like that. On the other side, if you wanted to protect the screen and put that over, it's not too noticeable. If you have it with your shirt over it, not too noticeable. So you could have that on your side just like that, or you could easily, you could easily just put this on your pocket like this if you wanted to do that. Mainly, this is just to get it out of your way. So here's my bag right here. So you have a bag like this, you can just sling it over your shoulder like that, right? And then you can just have this slide on just like this. So that is actually really cool because I have done this before. You could take it up a little higher if you wanted to for, for whatever reason. Maybe you want to act like it's a GoPro or something. If you jump or whatever, then it's not going to stay in place. Yeah, you could do it like that if you wanted to. And what's cool about it is it doesn't come off too easy. Yeah, I know guys, I'm showing you this holster a whole lot, but it's got a clip on it right there. On the clip right there, there's a little tiny piece that holds on to your bag. So if you want to put it on here, you can. Super simple. You can trust it, you can. I wouldn't keep it there a whole long time. Which one of these cases would you choose? To me, the Defender is still my favorite, but 
What surprised me the most out of all of these would be the Strata. And I don't know what it is about this, but just the nice feeling of that leather. I'm gonna give it a try and I'll let you guys know what I think about this in the future. If you guys have any questions about these cases, any questions about any cases you'd like me to review, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a like if I helped you at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to the right of the subscribe button. You'll be notified for future videos like this one in the future. All right, I gotta go put all these cases away, but I might be putting the strata on. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right guys, take care, bye.